into confusion and chaos. Molested, raped, beaten, and abused by people who claimed to love me. My name was changed three times before the age of seven. I'm a single parent of four children, and at times in my life, it felt like my children were the only ones who loved me. Hey y'all, my name is Catrice. I'm 33 and I'm Jamila's oldest child. Uh, having Jamila as my mother is an experience not for the weak. <laughs> but let's just say, long story short, uh, a lot of experiences in my life probably could have been avoided due to my own fault, but her reaction to things was a bit comical, so it was worth it. And um, I think if I could describe her in one word as a single black mother in Minnesota raising four kids on her own, I would say fearless. I like how loyal she is and how firm she is. I think I got that from her being real stern and not really caring about how other people feel about things sometimes, even if it's not gonna benefit me. I wish growing up, maybe we didn't argue as much and maybe it would have benefited me a little bit more. There are a few things I would like the world to know about my mom. First thing is, looks can be deceiving. Second thing is, she is as strong as the biggest boulder I've ever seen. And don't piss her off. Good luck. So because my mom was a single parent, she wasn't always able to give us things that two parents would have, such as time, such as uh, relationship building. And so for that reason, I would say personally that we didn't have everything. I do believe she tried her very best and that's all we could ever hope for. And we came out great, all four of us. So the ass whoopings paid off. I have two daughters, ages 11 and five. I am very stern with my kids. I don't let them slip up in school. I don't let them disrespect anyone. And I teach them that family is everything. And I whoop their ass. My name is Annette Bryant. I know Jamila from working. We used to drive school bus together. Well, she drove her bus and I drove mine. And I've been knowing her about 23 years, I would say. I do consider Jamila a friend. The one thing I would tell the world about Jamila is that through everything that she has been through in her life, She's still standing. She's still pursuing her dreams and moving forward. If I could describe Jamila in one word, it would be, I will say extraordinary. I'll say we've been through our ups and downs and ins and out. And I just want to say that through it all, that we can reconnect as if we never stop talking. I was born a stereotype. I was born to an 18-year-old mother and a 16-year-old father. But I will not allow those things to define who I am as a human, a mother, a sister, a daughter, a niece, a cousin or a granddaughter.
This is my story. I am not what they say I am. I am unapologetically Jamila Shabazz. <laughs>